Welcome, venue. welcome, uh, bean, bean, bean venue, bean venue. There's not a bean this venue anymore. The, this is the bean. Fuck venue. that. No, welcome no more beans. This is a bean venue. Oh my god, I'm leaving. <laughs> I want my money back. Fucking bean venue. Yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> People in, immediately need explanation. <laughs> no, they don't. And well, it's, if you, it's been thirty seconds. I have no idea what we're talking mm. about. Welcome to Digging the Dome. I'm Chris. That's Kevin. Hello. Uh, we ate beans, not mm. uh, magic beans. Uh, Homer Cleese not- cares not for beans. He does not. And I care not for being boozled. <laughs> so. Oh, you got boozled. Oh, God. So I, I, we did a year ago, I think in April or, or May, we did. Um, it was during Stinko. It was during Stinko. We yeah. did a trivia, uh, time. trivia time that was related to uh, being boozled. Well, it was related to the time frame in which we were doing uh, Stinko de Mayo. Right. And then uh, the trivia was, if you got a question right, mm-hmm. it was uh, movie trivia. And if you... Dogs are barking. Hold on. One second. All right. The, the, dogs, the dogs are still barking. We tried to, like, pause for a second <laughs> no, so the dogs would no. not continue to bark, but they continue. Dog, yes. They're marching on. They uh, they don't care. But the... Uh, so we did the trivia time that was yeah. related to the year's... Uh, that we were doing uh, for Stinko de Mayo. Mm-hmm. It was movie and, trivia la- uh, last year. Right. And then, so we did the same thing this year. We did the, it was movie trivia. There was music and stuff like, like mixed in this year, but no. does it? Yeah. Oh, this year. There was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But this year, year was, was all uh, movies, all, yeah. which, uh, which I am a Viking at. Right? Yes. Movies kick the fuck. I'll kick ass. But, but you did fail a couple of times because did, you did. And, and I did. And, and because I got like a couple Marvel questions in there. I had like a Thor, a dark world curve. Oh yeah, Thor Dark World. Yeah. God damn it, that was one of the eggs. But this year you got your ass kicked. <laughs> I fucking. <laughs> it was at every it was turn. A, it was a bad one after bad one. I got after bad one. one. I got one blueberry, <laughs> like Augustus Gloom. <laughs> and that was oh, no no it wasn't Augustus Gloom. Who was the uh, uh, was it Veruca Salt that mm-hmm. ate the the, uh, the blueberry and blew up? Yeah. Well, let me tell you, my stomach blew up. I almost threw up multiple well, okay. times yeah, yeah. again. Wet dog, wet dog, band aid, fucking no, uh, wet dog, like dead I, fish. The wet dog was one of the worst smells I've ever like smelled emanating from and, someone's yeah, mouth. It was horrendous. Yeah, it <laughs> it took every ounce of fortitude that uh, I yeah. had. Like I, I, dude, I, I ran. A, there's a little thing here, right here. See this? This right here. This is a Spartan trifecta. This is like one of the hardest things you can do. Fucking a half marathon, um, a like a like a ten mile race, like all kinds of obstacles, going up mountains, down mountains, picking up fucking Getting giant electric, buckets of electric fl- shocks yeah, and, and stagnant of, water. Literally, you're paying for torture, <laughs> which I feels like this too. <laughs> Uh, and like, so I was, I, I accomplished that and I got done. I'm like, thank God. Like, yes, I did it. I felt good. I did not feel good. <laughs> Either time we did these goddamn beans. <laughs> All right. So the chip or the beans, that's the ultimate question at this point. Oh, what's worse? Yeah. Uh, the chip. Yeah. The yeah. chip. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. Yeah, I agree. Because, huh? because the beans the go away after like so this is, the, thirty seconds, like, and, and not to like to, to be punny, but it's a slow burn with the chip, yeah. right? Like you get, and it even tells you it says there's gonna be phases of pain that you're gonna go yes. into. First, it's gonna be shock, in which case I don't know how, but I like was able to somehow kick the case into the camera that shit, like, <laughs> and hit the camera. I'll put a fucking. Insert <laughs> God, that was an impressive shot. Yeah, right there. Um, Louis, shut the fuck up! Louis, shut up! (laughs) You fucking cunt! (laughs) There's nothing to... He's just barking at... at, He's just being a dick. He's barking at the the front door. This is what happens when the beans get talked about. And the chip. Like, these are all painful things to everybody. And your dogs. And your marriage. I mean, like, I would like... Yeah, well... (laughs) 
fucking employer, everything, <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> mm. Anyway. Anywho, so moving on no, from, your, from yeah, yeah. the grossness of your of your beanness. Oh my god. You're like so thinking bad. you're like you're like tasting it in your mouth right now. Did I can see dog, it on your face. Well, so no, the, the, here's the here's the other part of it. But the, chip, like, the chip was forever. The chip was days of pain. Oh yeah, like it was because like the then next you day shit your life out like, the next yeah. day. Oh god, the fire that came out of yeah. your asshole <laughs> was terrible. I, I I imagine that's like the same kind of reaction, the visceral reaction that people have when they do hot ones, like where they're eating the super super hot wings. Oh yeah, like. And they're not used to that kind of shit. And they're yeah. like, ah, oh, I'm fine. And they're like, oh. Yeah, Shane Gills was on there a couple weeks ago and he was literally like chugging milk. Yes. Like, it's bad. It's, it's bad. It's not good. Bad. Like, this is, but this is what we do but, to ourselves. But the beans, the beans are because it's, it's such an, uh, like, with the chip, you know, all right, this is going to be hot as fuck. Yeah, there's no doubt. And it's not like you're, you're like preparing get good, yourself. You're not getting the Dorito chip. It's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I might have gotten the good one. No, <laughs> yeah, no. It's bad chip all the way. This is like, there's a chance so, I might get something cappuccino delicious. Yeah. or blueberry or tutti frutti. Yeah. Well, guess who got none of those except for one? <laughs> yeah. I got like nine. I, I think you I got your fruity in your tutti. I got, I got, I think I got five or six. I think it was five. Um, I, out of I don't five, know. Six, five out of six were, I had Band-Aid, I had Dead Fish. I think you had one good one. I had Stinky it was like Sock. Tooth, uh, it was Rand Blueberry. blueberry. It was Blueberry. Yeah, yeah, it was the one that could have been Toothpaste. I remember because that was yeah. the, oh, my saving grace. It's like like the person who saved you from a burning car is the Blueberry Bean. I had Dead Fish. I had Stinky Sock. I had Band-Aid. I had fucking Dirty Wet Dishwater. Dog. Uh, was Dirty no. Dishwater one of the ones you had? No. Was that, no. Was that there was made? another one too. There was five. I remember there was yeah. five bad yeah. beans. Yeah, they're disgusting, dude. They do a real good job. I uh, I sent you an article about how they discontinued discontinued one. Uh, it was skunk, oh. and because it was making, it was literally making people vomit, like immediate, like immediately triggering oh, like, and vomiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking skunk. All right, I, I'm I should never say anything positive about any of these fucking wretched beans, but I'll say this one thing. Yeah, the one saving grace I would say, and and it's not. A good thing, but it's a good thing, mm-hmm. is that they perfected Band Aid. Like that tasted like I was like <laughs> rubber and blood. It, it literally tasted like I was like sucking on a <laughs> a, a, a Band Aid. It was weird. I was like, this is fucking. It, it tasted terrible, yeah. but it was like at least it was accurate. Yeah. Like the wet dog, I've never licked a wet dog. I don't know. Yeah, but you've been around. Yeah, you, you have three dogs. Obviously, mm-hmm. you have many dogs. You have a fucking sled team of dogs. They've I been do. barking this entire goddamn time. Uh huh. Um. So you've smelled a dog after you've given it a bath or it's been outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's it smelled, tasted like it smelled. Yeah, that's the whole For thing. Sure. Like the smell receptors play into your taste. So right. you knew what you were getting into, but I like I can't explain the smell that came out that of came me. Came out of you. Like I can't believe you did. Like I thought you were dry heaving pretty heavily. I, listen, Whatever. listen, let's not talk this about is, it anymore yeah, because I'm getting out. sick talking about it right Speaking now. Speaking of grossing out. I got to tell you, I promised you I would tell you a story. Of, yes, you of, did. Of, of of my own personal pain. Thank God. So, Go at least it's not mine. Chris and I uh, belong to the same pool club, mm-hmm. and I'll call it a pool club so it sounds less white trash. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's a private pool. It's not like anybody you can pay show for up. it. It's not like a it's not yeah. like a public pool. It's a private um, pool. But uh, you know, it's not like the uh, it's not like the pool from Caddyshack. <laughs> but, no, 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 nothing like that. Well, kind of, but uh, yeah, the uh, so it's it's great and it's not so nice at the same time. Right. Like it's, you know, it's not like it's not a fucking country club. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not, you know, you're not living, going to the golf course pool. Um, no, this is this is uh, it's still got public pool vibes. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I am notoriously not a public bathroom user. Oh, yeah. No, this no, no, is no, no. absolutely necessary. And I've driven to Pittsburgh my whole life oh, since oh, I was like a, a, a five toddler, hour, and yeah, five six hours, and hour. back and forth, and I and I've and I've been forced to on occasions where I just physically can't hold it anymore. Do a rest stop to go to a, a tr- literal truck stop oh, and have to take a shit. Not great. It's horrifying. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. So bad. So I was in one of these situations at the pool. Okay, right. So, I'm desperate. Oh, no. Was it number one or number two? Oh, two. Of yeah, course. Well, I have. Whatever. I've... Yeah. So, this pool bathroom, Chris will 
absolutely back me up on this uh-huh. is horrible oh, for gross. some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the vibe. I don't know because there's like rusty pipes coming yeah, out of the like, wall. It's got like old, like it's, like like high school gym yeah. room vibe. Like it's, it's been like, it's been wet for twenty five years. Forever. Whenever they built the pool, thirty, 30 years. Yeah. Excuse me. Yep. Forty years. I have no idea how old the pool is, but there's a Dane, a old Dane Cook bit where he talks about like going into a bathroom and being like, "Why is everything wet?" Mm-hmm. He's like, "Did a shaggy dog come in here after a bath?" Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, but that this place is that time. So obviously, you're a fucking pool. Everybody that goes in there, right? Mostly is soaking wet, but it's horribly disgusting. It's like they clean it. And like either in the morning before anybody shows up uh-huh. or at night after everybody goes home and they don't clean it the rest of the time. Now, there's, there's no there's no like, you know, that little thing that's the little chart that says this was cleaned on this yeah, day. No. Yeah, that looks like it's been printed <laughs> on the Constitution paper. Like it's like 1776 was the last it's time. It's wet everywhere. Mm-hmm. There's balled up toilet paper. Oh, like oh. just soaked toilet paper everywhere. For deplorable. Like and you have no idea what fluids are on the ground like I you like you're going in there if you go in there barefoot oh you're out of your mind what you're you're like I burn your feet off like literally cut them off you're gonna become a swamp thing it's just gonna fucking just grow in your so I'm like I gotta shit man I have to I have to no choice There's, there's I have zero choice it's either shit my pants or shit in this bathroom and I have to go shit on the wettest toilet in the world oh and I don't know what the wet it could is. be anything. It is it piss? Is it pool water? Huh? Is it pissy pool water? It could have been both. Is it shitty pool water? It could have been everything. <laughs> it's all of those things. <laughs> like three things. Is it jizzy <laughs> pool water with somebody oh. in there? Like, oh, you don't <laughs> think that people are fucking in there? You're out of your mind. See, so, there's, there's fucking like the oh, people yeah, that are the working drunk there. White, the drunk white uh, trash is pulling one to the side in the, uh, in the fucking dude, stall. Hundred percent. So. I'm in there and made even worse is there's a shower in there, right? There, yeah, there's showers on the side. Yep. So this there's a dude in there who's like battling his kids. He's like trying to hose his kid off uh, kids off in the shower. Right. And like they're like running out. Uh, and like and these stall doors don't like lock like well at all because no. they're been soaking wet for 30 years right. and they're rusting they're off rusting the hinges. It's literally falling <laughs> off. It's like the CBGB's bathroom for <laughs> that shit. That's- <laughs> and I'm trying to get my bathing suit to not touch the ground uh, and my ass not to touch the seat. There's not enough toilet paper in the world for me to wipe off the seat. Like I should have done more wall sits touring him. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm at the, I'm at like DEFCON 4. Yeah. So like, I'm I'm like, I'm not a hover shit because right. then I'm just fucking spraying the oh, entire, yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. entire stall. Right, like, right, probably exactly. being an improvement. That fucking thing. <laughs> Dude, I, I just, I like wadded up as much toilet paper as I could to wipe off the sea. And yeah. then I just, I just had to yeah, fucking do loose. it. And I was just like, I was the whole time I was just like, I don't. What's gonna grow inside me? <laughs> like, I know. Yeah, it's not good. Well, and the other part that's not helping Dude, you, by the was, way, oh, I, like if if fuck with me, like like I felt like I as soon as I got home uh-huh. and our son went to bed, I got in the shower. You're like like I never took crying, my bathing game shower. I never got in my bed. I never got my bathing suit off. Like I didn't sit directly on the couch. I was like sitting like on the floor off to the side. Like I'm not sitting on the furniture. You're treating yourself like you're like in one of those uh, like labs where there's infectious disease. You're like, bitch. <laughs> unclean, unclean. Yeah. Oh, dude, that sucks. Yeah. And it didn't help that it was. 8 million degrees so it probably smelled oh, so dude. bad in there it smelled it smelled like piss and shit and like and, cooked piss and, and shit and chlorine all mixed together like it's a bad combination a public pool shit is that's not great way up there with truck stop shit oh yeah yeah I mean you might have been better off just like fucking sasquatching in the woods like going out there like fucking trudging out there I was, I was literally to the point where I was gonna like sit on one of the like the bag toss boards like with the hole <laughs> just, just, just sit my ass yeah. down <laughs> There you go. That's way hey, cleaner. I got news yeah, for you. Like a, it's like a it's like a fucking outhouse. Now the the one thing that you could have done mm-hmm. if it wasn't like in, I would say utter dire straits. Like yeah. you were like like if you were at the, this was like a this the, was the, the head of the turtle was coming out of the shell. This was like a point of no return. The the one time, the only other time I had this at the pool was a situation where 
everything was copacetic mm -hmm. and it wasn't like I was like, ah, I got to go. But you, felt it the, you felt the yeah, yeah. movement. So things were happening. We were, I was going to pick up food anyway. Uh -huh. So I stopped at the brewery next to uh, the place where we were picking up food. Yeah. Uh, uh, Brothers Kirshner. Yeah, yeah. And I just fucking took a dump there. There you go. I was like, like the cleanest bathroom in the world. Yeah. I'm like, this is amazing. Yes. Yeah, so, so great. So much better. Like mm -hmm. I could drive a couple minutes. This was a, if I get in my car and try to move it 50 feet, I will shoot, oh, you shoot my your, Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, And then I'm like in a bathing suit, so that's going right to, like, I mean, right yeah. through the mesh. <laughs> yeah. You it's to, like a Play-Doh fun factory. You, you burn the car like <laughs> Kaiser Sose. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, bad, that bad. Is, that's bad. Public pool oh, shit. Not a no, good one. No bueno. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was my, that was my pain. That's pretty bad, dude. Yeah. That's, uh, that sucks. Um. I knew you would appreciate it just because you go to that pool. You I know do. The, you know the state of affairs of that bathroom. I do. And it is not good. And I know the people that go there. Like, there's So the thing that uh, is pretty consistent is mm. that the people that are going there are bringing their, their families there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and most of the people love drinking. So it's not like people are, people are taking like, I had 14 Bud Light shits <laughs> yeah. in there. You know, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I saw yeah. a guy... A drunk dude did one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. There. All right. Bes Besides going to the walk into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> outside of using the bathroom. He was sitting on, um, they have tables with umbrellas. Now, uh -huh. Mind you, this place is actually pretty nice. Yeah. Like it's not, it, it's not a shithole. There's just shitty people. You right. know what I mean? Mostly they keep it Wait, really well second, maintained. Dude. What? I'm just making, there was, oh yeah, oh, it's fine. Jesus Christ. No, 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 it was just, the thing was uh, not, it was Scroll to the right. It's fine. Anyway, you go ahead. You're doing what now? <laughs> Chris is so, so, I'm so fucking paranoid. Go ahead. I don't want to lose an ounce of this magic. Go ahead. So this guy's like sitting on one of the um one of the tables they have there. They have the umbrella. Oh, the umbrella table. Sure. There's like a handful of tables. Yeah, yeah like, you, like you just sit there and put so your stuff on there, eat food, whatever. He like sitting there and he's like hunt, like kind of hunched over. Uh huh. And he just goes Bleh, and no! spits a giant no no not nope. puke just a giant dip. Like he's got like a dip in just and he's in like a fucking like a tank top, like just spits a giant dip on the ground, on the middle of the ground where like kids are running and stuff. And then like, like tries to like stamp it into the grass a little bit and then takes like a Miller light and then is like washing his mouth out and then like spit it on top of that. I don't want it to be like. You're one of the most disgusting people I've ever seen in my entire life. Why do that? There's a trash can five feet from you. That is foul, yeah, dude. dude. He spit a giant dip out, mashed it into the ground with his flip flop. Oh, that's going to be the fucking next and bean then, is dip. And then, uh, <laughs> oh, dude. Dip bean? <laughs> Yo, you would die. I would. Oh, yeah. No, I'd be yeah, dead. Uh, yeah. Literally Chris, dead. Chris had a uh, dip, dip situation happen. I did. I think we talked about it on this podcast well, before. Well, let's do the fast forward to the part where they were like, hey, we're going to give you this dip. I'm like, I've never done it before. They're like, no. You, oh, hold on. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not go there. Everyone. And it was like people were dipping and you were like, who? And they were like, who wants one? And you were like, I'll go because right. I don't want to be a sped. <laughs> and because I was drunk. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> But I was, uh, I was the, uh, as Bane would say, mm -hmm. uninitiated. I was uninitiated into the dip life. So <laughs> <laughs> they were like, look. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. <laughs> dip, 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 dip. <laughs> so I, uh, I was like, they were like, hey, look, whatever you do, uh -huh. don't swallow any of the, the yeah. dip juice. Yeah. Well. Oh. I mean, Chris can't we, help but swallow, folks. Ah, well. Uh, that's why I'm a good friend. <laughs> Well, he's so, unswallowed. <laughs> I did, and literally the, I'm dying. I mean, you. I was pale. pale they were you putting, they had pale to put fans on me, like immediately, and you puked your motherfucking guts out. I did. Yeah, I puked a lot. Yeah, not as bad, bad as the chick that uh, puked black no. sambuca all over the carpet. Oh, uh, the that one night. that Kevin. Uh, I, I, I swear, I will swear <laughs> until my dying day. <laughs> Magic happened that night. Magic mind? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe if I had magic mind. I would not have taken the dip in the first yeah. place, or I would have remembered yeah. to. I did. Uh, or that she, girl that puked black, black sambuco. She oh, would have yeah, been better yeah. off. Maybe you had the early like version of magic mind because Kevin, literally, we were all like sleeping on this wretched floor. I was dead. I was merely dead. And You were Kevin, on the couch hours I, I was before. Like, <laughs> dip. <laughs> Why? And Kevin was on the floor, and um, yeah, 
<laughs> just out of nowhere because the girl puked black sambuca like all, all over like the carpet. A sarlacc pit. Like yeah. a, literally. We had to clean it up. We cleaned it up. Uh, the, the best that a bunch of 20 something year olds could clean up liquor while also being severely intoxicated. If you think we did a good job, you're wrong. <laughs> it was bad, right? It was there. It was the, the, the most of the liquid was at least surface off. Yeah. But, you know. Shag, and this was where this like whoever fucking, rented this place was not getting their security deposit back. They must have been whoever they were the furious. <laughs> um, so all of a sudden, Kevin goes, I put my hand in the boot, and boot being a uh, colloquial phrase for vomit, yeah. black sand book of vomit. And I'm not kidding, Kevin's on the back, his body just Dracula'd up like this, like literally with no. It wasn't, there was no hands. knees, there was no, no hinging, his I used heels, my heels and that was it. Somehow, you know how like they <laughs> say like sometimes when, when um like a parent has a child trapped in a car, they can like rip the door off. <laughs> Kevin <laughs> defied gravity because he's like, ah, ah, like he had this black like goop on his oh, hand man. and he ran into the bathroom. And watched it off. Defied gravity, it was magic. Yes. What magic a nice. mind. <laughs> yes, anyway, magic mind. <laughs> uh, no, it's helps you levitate. So uh, drink it; it'll give you superpowers. So I, I so I've been using Magic Mind. Mm-hmm. Um, I've said before for the gym, but I found new utility for it. Oh yeah, hangovers. Um, oh yeah, really good for hangovers. Okay. Right. So you just so I mean, like, it makes sense. It's like a yeah. it's like a you know it's it's like a green tea shot. Yeah, I'm not you sure if that I mean? was like, the intended use, Mr. James Bashar, but you have uh, another utilization for it is for that. And I, I again, I've we will send an before. email to you, marketing team. Yes. Post yes. <laughs> Creators at magicmind.com. Can we move um, on? <laughs> no, wait. I was going to say one more thing. So um, the other thing is, for real, like uh, I've cut, I've been like kind of tracking my coffee. I usually I like, have two cups a day. Mm. Um, when I do Magic Mind, I have no cups a day. Right. And then um, like if I – or unless I'm like dead, dead tired, I'll have like a half a cup and I never end up finishing it. I usually – I'm like gunning this shit down. Right. So it really does – if you um, have caffeine – call it addiction or use a lot too much um magic mind absolutely 100 magic mind it will help you levitate yes. like heaven <laughs> like a vampire yes yes Blah. all right i put my hand in the boot can we move on what are, are we, we doing, doing first stuff? what do you want you two i mean we, do we, we got start off we got breakdown we got a draft i think we do not just, have stinko results yes. yet they're they're pending yes um I don't Pat have pending. It, I don't have any follow up to that. No, <laughs> it just takes forever. It does. I, we'll, we'll get there. Don't yeah. worry. Eventually, but one day you choose. Um, Dealer's I like, choice. I like spout off. Uh-huh. Hello, hello, this is a dentist reporting again. So let's do some spout. We haven't done spout off in a minute. So let's do it. So I did. Um, These here, are all my spouse. You can have it. Where I are your spouse. I have uh, some. Right. I have the online stuff, so I'm good. Um, OK, so I, li- I like the paper version. I like the paper. I like the tactile version, too. But um, I figured that you'd want to dig in and get oh, yeah. your hands a little dirty. Um, so um, here's a coin. I'll do a flip here. So he's going to go first. On yeah. this. Flip you for real. Count it. Heads. It's tails. All right, you choose. Ah, uh, yes, I'll go first. first. Oh, Why yeah. not? Why the hell not? All right, so, ah, uh, yes. I mean, one thing I'll say is that um, more recently, it seems like there's a lot, and not surprisingly, a lot of political stuff that's of on course. there right now because people are getting close to the election and they oh, are fucking yeah. losing their goddamn minds. See, I'm, I'm my shit's from May, March, so I'm not going to have any of the current shit. Yeah, but you'll um, still have some. You know, sure, it'll be spattered in there after Biden. Probably literally shit his pants on public television and I mean, also figuratively. And then Donald Trump consistently just said oh, the sure. most random, crazy nonsense. Like, I can't believe these are our choices. All right, all right we're gonna, let's get the political no, you know what it is? no, wait, wait, wait. I can't quick. believe these are our two choices. There's one thing, one thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Three choices because Robert Kennedy. Yeah, he's in there with his brain, his brain worm. <laughs> he's like fucking the very he's hungry. Got, he's, got ca- the, he's got the he's very got hungry the, uh, caterpillar in his fucking head. What was the the thing from Futurama? The the things that suck onto your head. Oh, the fucking uh, the slug, the brain the slugs. Brain slugs. Yeah, he's got brain slugs. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start off with something that I love. Mm-hmm. Seattle City. Ah, oh. click, click, click. What's that? You ask. It's the pickleballers returning to take <laughs> over the course. Let the wars begin. Is that Let really what the war. <laughs> Let the wars begin. 
fucking dude. I don't get it. Why do people hate pickleball so much? I don't know. It's the, it's look, just ping pong. People it's just can't ping, play tennis anymore. It's just ping pong tennis. Right. They're trying to do something. Yeah. It's 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 pretty. It's a pretty. It's pretty fun. I play tennis in high school. Yes. I play pickleball. It's fun. It's just. It's wiffle ball. Tennis, ping pong, like all combined. It's just. Right. And by the way. But I think it, when people start taking it seriously and competitively, the haters come oh, out. Oh, you, you mean when people put like headbands and wristbands on? <laughs> and if they're like <laughs> fucking monogrammed fucking. Uh, uh, oh, fucking racket? Rackets and shit. Oh, yeah. They've yeah. got like a, they have uh, twice a week pick, pickleball uh, lessons. Yeah. Um, so let's let's stay political in Wildwood. Why not? When Trump comes to town, uh-huh. his new slogan should be. Make Benelli's great again. We sure miss those old world hoagies. Benelli's? Benelli's. What? B- I- spell it for me? Oh, wait. So it is B O N E L L I apostrophe S. Is ben- that like a place? Yeah, it's a place. I've never been apparently- to Benelli's. Yeah, me neither. Because they're, they're not great right now. Let's see. They need to be made great again. <laughs> let's see if, Let's see if Benelli's is any good. I'm ben- sure Trump is really looking forward to the next time he's he comes like, to Wildwood to be like, hey, no, Benelli's, we're prom- good. <laughs> Used to be good. Oh, so four point so four point seven uh, okay. stars on well, nine hundred. Th- this person. Oh wait, that's Pensacola, Florida. Never right. mind. Wait a minute. So this, Benelli's Wildwood. This person does not think that Benelli's is still great. Oh well, Are they permanently closed. Bad news. They are, in fact, yeah. permanently closed. <laughs> there you go. That's why. So, I guess they Benelli's isn't going to be made yeah. great anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish those two fucking Biden and Trump were per- permanently closed. That would be helpful. All right. Oh my God, this one's great. Since we're since we're talking politics, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kate May mm. to the Villa Spouter saying Joe Biden is hanging on to pardon his son. Horse feathers. <laughs> <laughs> that person is older than Joe Biden. <laughs> Never gonna happen. That's not the way Joe rolls. Try again. <laughs> Horse feathers. <laughs> Poppycock. Wait a minute. Horses don't have feathers. Is this a Pegasus? Oh, my God. What the fuck are you talking about, man? That guy's 90. I know. 90. 90, 90,000 years old. Um, Cape May. (laughs) What is that new barn they're building in West Cape May for? That's the whole thing. Say again? What is that new barn they're building in West Cape May for? That was it? That's it. Ah, New barn. New barn. New barn going up. What is this new barn? (laughs) Tell me. Driving by anger. What's that barn? What's that barn? What's that barn about? Oh I don't God. know. Fucking farm shit. Like, what are barns for? Like, you don't know oh. what a barn's for? What's that new barn for? Uh, what do you think, dummy? Fuck it. They're, they're, they're having fucking satanic rituals exactly. in there. Fuck they're off. Fucking breakdancing competitions. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I Got, hate people so much. Oh, I know. It's, <laughs> what's that new barn about? I don't know. Oh, I love this one. This is maybe I kind of want to save this one. Wait a minute. I have to do that last. All right. Oh, this one's really funny. Go for All right. It. Here we go. Stone Harbor. Oh, my God. All right. <clears throat> and I'd like to know since, you know, you are a parent of a young child. Mm-hmm. I'd like your opinion on this. Oh, yeah. Sometimes mm-hmm. parents are worse than their kids. 100% agree. I mean, but you don't have to fucking not even a question. You don't have to you don't have to read anymore. A thousand percent agree. A small child was eating on the beach and got attacked by a swarm of hungry seagulls. Instead of helping the child, the parent grabbed her phone, started taking pictures and videos. Oh. <laughs> then the parent encouraged the kid to feed the seagulls. Must not have got a good shot, I guess. <laughs> this must have been the parent's first time to a beach. Oh, no. That's first of all um, it's not because obviously if you bring open food to the beach, the, the seagulls are going to be yeah. very near you. Um, uh, we actually have video of our son, like waving the seagulls away. Like, yeah, go, like, away, seagull, go, go, bitches, yeah. go away, seagull, go, go away, seagull, go away. Um, so he knows what's up. Yeah. He doesn't like no seagulls. The fact that they busted out their phone while their kid was getting attacked by seagulls. I fucking love that. Yeah. A thousand, they'll do it for the gram. Good dude, for you. All of a sudden, you what's the worst thing? He gets a couple peck marks in, maybe some stitches. Oh, dude, or like five seagulls carrying him away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah! Even better, drop him, <laughs> drop him in the deep end of the ocean. You just see a shark come up. Ah! <laughs> see you in Davy Jones's locker, kid. See ya. Um, you died in the coolest way possible. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> this is a uh, this is a long <clears throat> one. So. But it's 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 fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is Kate May. Ready? <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Be aware at any deli or convenience stores. Check your orders. Make sure that they print what you asked and paid for on your sandwich. Lately, they are not doing that and the orders do not match. I recently purchased a shorty Italian with oil vinegar in the works. When I got home, it was loaded with meats. No lettuce, no onions, dry roll, one tomato, loads of pickle. I called and was told to bring it back. Bring it back! That would be a no. Just letting you know. Also, the ticket that gets attached to the sandwich was not on the sandwich. I had meat for two other sandwiches. Ugh. Ruined. You got too much meat in your sandwich? got all the meats. I love how they say, we have the meats. Beware at any deli or convenience store. And then specifically says, I recently purchased a shorty Italian. Bitch, we know you're a Wawa. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody else calls their sandwiches shorties. It's like you didn't want to call out Wawa. I went went to a convenience store. Rhymes with ha ha. Yeah, exactly. Um. All right, hold on a minute. I got to find this one. Shit. Uh, I'll read one more quick one. Go ahead, go ahead. Because we were talking about pools. Mm-hmm. Cape May. Love the Cape May County pool. I wish they would play music. I feel like I am at Target. I'll stay if it's fun. No music, no fun. <laughs> no music, <laughs> no fun. That's so fucking funny. All right, here we go. North Wildwood. Uh huh. For goodness sake, people, stop being such inconsiderate and entitled jerks. Keep your nose and your drama to yourself. When you're at home, do you want to hear loud partying, drunken arguments, and screaming kids at all hours? Well, neither do we. Show some consideration for other people, especially at night. Most of us have to get up and go to work in the morning. <laughs> it's like, all right, dude, Jesus. You're at the shore at, 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 like, what the you, summer. What do you expect is going to happen? Oh, <laughs> I got, all right, so I got to do this one now. Go for it. North Wildwood, again. <clears throat> Why don't the people spout about what's good in the wild woods? Like the shrimp salad at Tavern in the Lower Township. <laughs> Who was the one more for coleslaw? Coleslaw? No, it was potato salad. Oh, potato salad. Couldn't yeah. find any Does good anyone potatoes. know where some good potato salad is? Well, no, but I know where some good shrimp salad is for it's you. It's in that bar and that other guy was asking about. <laughs> That's right. There's shrimp salad in here. here. We go. Weird. <clears throat> I find it quite strange that you might be... Oh, this is Cape May County. Mm-hmm. I find it quite strange that you might be able to request a, a, a quote-unquote observer... In the doctor's office in New Jersey. Um, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Say that again? I find it quite strange that you might be able to request a quote-unquote observer in the do- in a doctor's office in New Jersey. Uh, what doctor are you going to? An observer? <laughs> With some dude peeking through like, hey, I'm just here to watch. Don't worry. <laughs> what? Yes, an observer. Uh, I'd like to get an observer over here for my <laughs> mammogram. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's too big. I got another good one real right, quick. Go ahead, go ahead, do it. Kate May. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I'm just rolling Kate May today. Please, all of my ra- lady friends, don't get Botox. It's no good. Like a man getting a cheap toupee. Live with what God has given you. Do us all a favor. <laughs> Wait, do us all a favor? <laughs> Not do yourself a favor. <clears throat> do us a- We don't want to look at your weird lips from your Botox. Right. We don't want to see you cry without closing your eyes. All right, here's, this is great. Right. Middle Township. Go for it. The elephant in the room? Really? How about the green jealousy monster? <laughs> Just because she is that good, maybe great. Let's see how they have now they how uh, let's see they now let's see they now have to play. What the fuck? <laughs> let's see they now have to play in larger buildings to accommodate all the new fans. Ticket sale have tripled Indiana fever right. memorabilia has went viral. All right, so for the people that are Wait, first the, hearing the, spout off for the first time, are the people writing to spout off? Not the best uh, linguistically. No. Um, not the best educated. Nope. No, no, no. I mean, I would say that maybe this is the first time they've ever typed on a keyboard or put together a sentence. Um, Most of them were typing very angrily. All right. So wait, we're going to keep going here. Go for it. Uh, all right. Let's be back. Let's see. They now have to play in larger buildings to accommodate all the new fans. Ticket sales have tripled. Indiana Fever memorabilia <laughs> has been, went viral. <laughs> what? The uh, the run on the wildness. It's uh, all because of Caitlin Clark. Thank you very much. I find it I comma find it awfully ironic comma that while Larry Bird was playing in the league in the wait wait what wait, what is this look, look dude I find it awfully ironic that when Larry Bird was playing in the NBA league <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of n words redacted <laughs> redacted yeah. Not much said, but look at all the sports podcasters. Excuse me, black podcaster. 
Oh, oh my yeah. god. And retired NBA look, dude. Jesus. <laughs> and retired NBA stars are all saying Larry Bird is the GOAT. My pick, Wilt Chamberlain and Michael Jordan is error. What? The fuck? So that's all about, that's a drunken spell about Caitlin Clark and racism. Podcasters is two words now, apparently. And Michael Jordan, his error instead of era, I'm guessing. Um, oof. I'm going to hear one about cocaine. Sure. I love cocaine. After reading the article. Oh, excuse me. Courthouse. <clears throat> I have one more after this and we can move on. All right. After reading the article on the front page of the Herald, the deadly drug trend, I was actually surprised by the way these drugs are categorized. Cocaine is a party drug and ecstasy and mollies are recreational drugs? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> I've been yes. to a few parties around this area and I've never seen cocaine among the deli trays and figure food. Wait, what's well, it? Well, well, where are you going? To? Oh, yeah. You know that turkey sandwich over here? I'm going to block. I'm going to do a Hollywood right quick. Well, I need this. Well, well, okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I need. So. I don't need a shorty. I need a classic. Can you <laughs> You'll get all the meats. <laughs> oh, yeah, you will. I also enjoy recreational activities and have never once been offered ecstasy. <laughs> oh, what? You never gotten offered Molly on the pickleball court? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's had it like a fucking... Maybe that's why they're all mad. Yeah, right. Everybody's all, all fucking tripping balls on the yeah, fucking right. pickleball it's court. Like, it's like... Swinging fucking invisible yeah. rackets. In Yo, it. if you hit one more ball into my fucking car... Um, Just a thought, but maybe instead of us all stocking up on Narcan, we should start teaching people that these drugs can kill you, and if you choose to do these drugs, it's a really bad idea. And then... <laughs> there's a comment from the... Moderator? Uh, from moderator. It says, right. that very point was the crux of the article... All of these drugs are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you're a pussy. First of all, where's Cocaine Wawa at? Yes. Oh, dude, Cocaine <laughs> Wawa. I want to go to Cocaine <laughs> Wawa. <laughs> Second of all, um, the recreational drugs being offered on during recreational activities. They think the word recreational well, play the drug softball game. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> applies. They, they're applying the word recreational. Equal. They're mixing things up. It means up. two different things no, 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 those in are context. Different. Recreational as in like I'm doing it for fun. <laughs> Not like recreational. We're getting together and playing flag football. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right. I got one more. All right. All right. I got one. My last one. All right. North Wildwood. <laughs> North Wildwood. With parking at a premium, all these golf carts are just adding to the problem instead of solving it. <laughs> Goddamn golf carts. I know. Dude, they're a menace. All right, last one. All right. This is a great one to end it on. All right, good. Kimmy Courthouse, mm -hmm. the town I grew up in. Yes. I pray the darkness of the world is overtaken by oh, the light. Oh, no. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yep. <laughs> and that's how we end that. All, All right, right. Take a break. Take a break. We'll be right back. Bang. Here's Magic Mind. Hey, Domies. What's up? It's your beloved host, Chris. And I'm here again to talk to you about Magic Mind. That's right. Magic Mind. This beautiful little green shot right here has changed my life. Origin story, James Bishara is the founder of Magic Mind, and he had gone to the hospital because like, he was having problems with his heart, and his doctors told him that he needed to cut back on the caffeine. So what did he do? He invented something better than caffeine, Magic Mind. That's right, I've been using this for months. I go to the gym, I wanna get focused, I wanna get energy, I drink Magic Mind. If I had a particularly rough night of drinking, mm, I use Magic Mind. It helps get me on track and it makes it so I don't need to drink two or three cups of coffee. It's pretty amazing. Now, this has got all kinds of good stuff in it. It's a green tea shot. Um, it's got adaptogens, matcha, all the things that you need to get your mental acuity sharp. And let me tell you something, they're giving you a awesome discount to our domies. Go to magicmind.com slash chrism and use the promo code chrism20. And that will get you a discount on these beautiful green shots that are going to change your life. You need to get off that caffeine? Take this shot of green. Magic mind. It will make your life better. All right. Now let's get back to the show. We're back. We are back. Kevin actually tried to convince me to eat another bean. <laughs> and I'm telling I you. I said, hey, you want to have a bean? And I said, no, I would not. <laughs> you, did, you said no and I would. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No, thank you. How about that? No. I'm saying no. No means no. Um, all right, so what are we doing? We're gonna do the breakdown. Breakdown. 
Oh, we're revisiting a, a friend from last episode. Now, look, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Me neither. That's like, the question. I have not. I have no context. I don't understand. So, Jeff, why or how? Uh, have you gotten? Have you gathered either? Part? No. No, I mean like. Like, why is he doing it? Yeah. Well, because he he's is he like, out of wrestling? No, he he. Uh, I'm not sure if he's under contract, but right, he's definitely can, wrestling for. Let's, let's rewind a second. We're talking about Jeff Hardy, the wrestler who was a part of the Hardy Boys, one of a, a literal legend in the wrestling world, the Hall of Famer. But um, he's had his his run ins with the law. Um, his, had, his, has, his, his problems with drugs and, he has and alcohol. more DUIs than Will Chamberlain's <laughs> had sexual partners. That's how many DUIs. So many. They're like, I don't know why we keep giving you your license back. It seems like we seem like a nice guy, Jeff. <laughs> They're just gonna call him <laughs> JHIs now. <laughs> Jeff Hardy intoxicated. Yeah, like oh like Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You've had so many DUIs. We're just gonna call him. Oh, you got another Jeff Hardy on your mm. life. One more Jeff Hardy, and you're suspended license. <laughs> dink, 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 Sir, can you please stop doing that? We have to take you to jail. <laughs> it's handcuffs. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> they look like fucking <laughs> mesh sleeves. <laughs> That's your prison outfit. Is a, is a mesh shirt? Oh, you're getting fucked in prison, boy. Bad news. <laughs> oh man, if you show up dressed like fucking Jeff Hardy, fucking car, oh. cargo pants and a mesh shirt. Oh boy, you're gonna get pulled my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to watch. So the last time we watched Jeff Hardy uh, attempting to sing, and Ooh. it was like. And he was like in a swamp fishing in the middle of nowhere. Right. And now. And it was like six seconds, and you knew it was the worst thing you ever saw in your life. And now it looks like he's in the basement of like a church recreational center. He or, looks like he's in the bathroom at the pool that yeah, I was yeah, talking it's about. Fucking wall, the pool. <laughs> he's got a, he put, brought a folding chair in there. He's like, oh, I want something that stinks as bad as I do. It looks <laughs> like he's doing a wrestling event at a, at a fucking high school. I, I, it literally looks like a high school locker room. Yes, uh, but here we go. Let's listen to him. Let's see. He's got. He may may have gotten better. May have. Oh wait, we can't hear it. There he goes. All right. I'm sorry. I got to do. Uh, yeah, I got to go it, back yeah. and. Uh, uh, Oops, yeah. I did it again. <laughs> he's adjusting the mic. He's got to be right. Something about yesterday. <laughs> I remember yesterday. <laughs> you would never come. Uh, yeah, not what would you sing in? <laughs> <laughs> and same answer, because you're singing. <laughs> Why did you leave so suddenly? Because you should not be doing that. So the... the, the Whoever was playing guitar should have fucking honky should have honky tonk oh, man him on, you immediately. Him. Oh, I definitely smashed him in his head. Come double on, J. man, dude, that was J E double F J E double R H A R D Y should oh. never ever fucking sing it, dude. That was what me. is going on with his? Why is he starting? It's called Jeff Hardy Band. Is I know. The page, and then it so, says something at the bottom like "Thank you, Shutterstock" or something like <laughs> such, or some like. I was like, what Shutterstock? What is, what, where is he playing? Is he have gigs don't... lined up? No. Oh, I think we did this the last episode. And Wait, I'm pretty sure he's coming, to, like, he's coming no, around you know, to Philadelphia. We found out he coming to um, Atlantic City, right? Yeah. All right. Hold on a second. Sorry. I'm trying to find the... Uh... That was one of the worst lyrical performances I've ever heard in my entire life. I, I'm i baffled. That it was he... 10 seconds long. Yeah. it was That was wild, dude. He was just like... And he said... Suck us all today. <laughs> And you'll, do, you'll never do. come again. Yeah, no. Your don't. dick will shrivel up and fall off because I sang the song. This is the worst shit. I'm trying to find the uh, where the fuck is the other thing? Hold it on. It would be wait. great if he could if he could sing so, he could sing songs like just about like random wrestling shit. Oh, dude, like, that would rule. This one's called Swanton Bob. Yes, I mean, <laughs> I, then I would listen. Like you're what you're doing right now is bad, bad, bad. This one's called My Brother Won Money in the Bank. <laughs> Why the fuck is the video not there? Hold on, Hold sorry. on, I'll send it to you again. No, no, not that one, not that one, not that one. I got that. Well, that's the one I was going to send to you. No, no, no. You don't You don't have what I have. The tea? No, I have a. I have it cut up. That's why I'm saying well, you have to give me uh, a second here. okay. So just give me a minute. You have it cut up like at the at the Cocaine Wawa? <laughs> I do like Cocaine Wawa. Uh, where's Mr. T? Next thing we're going to look at is, so Kevin. What's, 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 wiener, what's wienerbarf.com? 
Oh, very funny. Uh, what's the, <laughs> what's the, what was, how long ago was it that you sent me this Mother's Mr. Day. T thing? It was on Mother's Day. It was on Mother's Day. Yep. So apparently, and I didn't know this, I, I knew that Mr. T loved his mother. I shouldn't say that. I knew that. What I didn't know is that Mr. T had a, I, I guess you would re refer to it as a rap song about how you should be treating your mama right. I don't know what. I don't know what I would call this song. It's very, it's very, all right. So this is old as fuck. This is well, from this the is fucking eighties. Way eighties. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, this is like solid gold era, uh -huh. you know, skinny microphones, oh, back, background uh, singers. Dude, when you see the outfits, dude, this is so fucking when quality. When you see the outfits in this shit, it is fucking nuts. It's like, it is literally like what you would expect. And I think we have to explain who Mr. T is. You got a. That's a really good point. Like, Mr. Is that like a dude you know? Some dude, Mister Mister Thompson, that's your neighbor, or he's the gym teacher. Mister Thompson, <laughs> your name is Mister Thompson. <laughs> All right, now you got to put the Simpsons. Mr. Thompson put the Simpsons in there. Sir, from now on, you'll be uh, Homer Thompson at Terror Lake. Let's just practice a bit. Hmm? When I say hello, Mister Thompson, you'll say hi. Check. Hello, Mister Thompson. Remember now, your name is Homer Thompson. I got you. Hello, Mr. Thompson. Oh, now when I say hello, Mr. Thompson, and press down on your foot, you smile and nod. No problem. Hello, Mr. Thompson. I think he's talking to you. <laughs> I think he's talking to you. <laughs> I think he's talking to you. Go ahead, so. Go ahead. So, oh, geez. There was a... How the fuck am I going to do this? How, there was a TV show called The A-Team. There was a character called B.A. Baracus, who was played by a gentleman called Mr. T. Mr. T. I don't remember what his real name is. No one does. Uh, I um, thought his name was Mr. T. But his actual name. I thought it was Mr. T. <laughs> so... He launched into a stratosphere of popularity to Fame. the point where he had his own cereal. He was in Rocky three. Um, and apparently he tried to launch a movie uh, music career, similar to how Eddie Murphy launched the music career. Oh, uh, what's it called? Party all the time. Yeah. Party all the time. Party all the but, time. Party uh, all the time. Th so he was famous for wearing a shit ton of gold. Yes. Um, and having a, a, like a mohawk. Yes. But like with also with like some side hair. Yeah. Like, like he had a very distinct. Uh, he had a lot of gold chains. Yeah. And he like, would also like, you'd be and, like, this is and he, had a catch, he had a catchphrase. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was very 80s. Catchphrase, distinct hair, jewelry, yes. cocaine, wah, wah, a team. Oh, hold <laughs> like, on, dude. Yeah. It's, it's, you'll see. Yeah. All right. So, so back to, back to, back to Mr. Terrific here. All right. Does Mr. T stand for Mr. Terrific? Is that what it stands for? I don't for? know. I've just guessed that. Be, de, de, de. All right. Sorry. All right. Here we go. All right. Yeah. In honor of Mother's Day, we would like to present the following special presentation. So this is like some dude's channel. I guess shout out JS Duke, whoever you are. Yeah. We'll give you credit where credit's due. Yes, exactly. For always at, always at people. Look at this. Okay. All right. Now. Hold on. <laughs> yep. We're stopping right away. And star wipe and, and scene. So wait, this looks like the beginning of like a, uh, oh, like a, maybe a little bit better than Atari, like Activision game. No, it, know what it looks like? It looks like um, it it's a uh, 80s commercial about like a teacher that like is scolding a child about yes. like saying the F word in class. And like, yes. it's a, it's a, it's about, they're about like somebody wheeled in the VHS yes, to show a video it. about why you should, why you shouldn't th throw fucking crayons at your yeah, teacher. Somebody fix the tracking. That's what <laughs> right, I'm so right go. now. All right. And so, and, and literally it looks like, again, kind of cartoonish, but here we go. 12, you couldn't be more than five. You're so Fat they have to jack you up to take off your shoes. Oh, point yeah, that guy. Well, you're so skinny, your eyes are in single file. That's right. Well, you're so ugly, your ears stick out to get away from your face. Nice. Well, your mama is oh, so... Oh, wait a minute, oh. wait a minute. Don't bring anyone mother into this. She ain't here. If it wasn't for your mother, you wouldn't be here. So remember, when you put down one mother, you put down mothers all over the world. All right, wait. <laughs> so... 
Now, if this, this was Nina, everything shit to say about him calling her girl fat. Now, so wait, I, I want to see you. She's like, like, "You're so black." Like, you like? <laughs> oh wait a minute! Oh, wait a minute! A fool. So, so, so he's got is, like they're basically hold on. snapping on each other. He's got they're snap, they're snapper it's snapping like, on each other. It's like this 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 small black child and this looks like an offensive lineman in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> totally. <yeah. laughs> With a bow in his hair. <laughs> Nerds! So, Mr. T has all of the uh, hood ornaments ever created in the history of man from every car ever made. Yo, he looks like a pharaoh. I'm telling you, he's got like all the gold there. And he's got he's like got... a feather in his hair. He's got the fucking mohawk. Dude, he's got the beard. I, I, his belt says T something. T. T-Rex? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's play it and find well, out. Wait, wait, hold on. Before we do that. Yes. I just want to make the point that that could have been it. Like, he was going to do, like, a PSA. Yeah. Hey, you should treat your mom right. You yeah. should do that. Like, she's not yeah, like here. Like, I was talking about, like, you know, throwing crayons at your teacher. Yeah, right. Like, you can't yeah. be doing that, right? Yeah. And don't that bring, could don't have... bring mothers into this. They brought you into this but world. This is a man, obviously, feathers in his hair, all of the gold, <laughs> um, that likes showmanship. Yes. So, that's He was also enough. in wrestling. He was. He yeah, was wrestling. He, he was, was, was also WWE Clubber for Lang a in Rocky yep, Three. Yep, I mentioned that earlier. My prediction is pain. <laughs> and by the way, my prediction also right now is pain. pain. Yeah, this, this is horrifying. Oh, all right. Wait. <laughs> so wait. Number one. <laughs> the so fade out know. is amazing because you only had him waist up before. <laughs> so now we see that wardrobe has failed because. <laughs> Holy shit, Unless there's a lot going purpose, on. Unless this is on purpose, like, he's got one Different black stretch sock. Yeah, one blue. One blue. Yes. Uh, what seems to be sandals of some sort. The highest, like, the highest uh, camouflage short. Is it, they are definitely, <laughs> you know, yeah, his balls like six are inches. spread eagle across the seam of that thing. <laughs> right. There's it, no it fucking looks like wiggle. he has either bowling shoes or... Clown shoes or the biggest sandals you've ever seen in yeah, your they, life. Yeah, the, like the weird stripe across the top. <laughs> yeah, they could be. They look like bowling. Yeah, it could be bowling shoes. I know what's fucking happening. And then they got the subdued background dancers. Right. Don't you fucking move. Don't you fuck out. Don't, yo, he's gonna punch you in your goddamn <laughs> mouth. You're not his mom. He'll yeah, fuck you up. <laughs> so wait, there's his giant belt, which looks like kind of a Santa Claus belt. Yeah, it's just like TRJ or something on it. Dude. I don't know. TNT? TRT? I mean, I don't testosterone know. Replacement uh, yeah, something, yeah, something, yeah, something like that maybe that's what like he like injects into him it's like dude, he's got enough food. gold around his neck to like I, dude yeah he had fee like, nigeria that fucking <laughs> seriously. Like, jesus christ he's got like fucking taped knuckles like he's going to fucking box somebody like well, he's gonna tape tape move, he's gotta be ready <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna clock that lady in the fucking chest all right here we go oh it, and he busts oh like skinny microphone skinny microphone Oh my god. Right. Before we get there, I gotta point out <laughs> the about. outfits of these fucking disasters. So the, the one lady on the left is I don't even know. She's just dressed like, like a Sunday school teacher. Right. Yeah, she looks like she's gonna knock on your door and see if you want to learn about Christ. Like she's she like to learn about the church of you know <laughs> the latter day saints. Yeah. This next lady looks like kind of half rodeo, I don't know, like got a pink shirt on. And then it's like you just got like the Farrah Fawcett thing going on. Yeah, and then fucking um, uh, Diane J Ross, James Wayne, <laughs> Vanity. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes, mother, mother. There is no other. Mm -hmm. Like mother, so treat her right. Yep. Mother, I always love her. I'm mother. So treat her right, mm -hmm. treat her right. Yep, treat her right. Full of moan and a miserable groan from the pain that she felt when I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> one of the best lines in music history, right there. Can you please replay it? It's one of the most amazing lines in the history of music. From the from the, <laughs> the moan and, and the groan from bone. when I was bone. When I was bone. All right. One of the most. Oh, amazing. So treat her right, treat Here her come. right. He comes out, I pity the fool. Slap so the doctor. He's, he's doing like a spell of mother. mother right. So he says, so M, M is for moan. Yes. And, and the miserable groan. groan. How the fuck would you know? You were barely there, dude. He's like, I remember my birth. Are you tell me I don't. 
Dude, what did this soundstage cost back then to record I don't know. this? Dude. How much money did he spend on this? Dude, how much gold? You know how much gold he just takes another... Hey, we have to do another five takes of that. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what, oh, let's see what O stands for. How are they not... How are the background dancers slash vocalists not... Pissing their pants laughing Dude, right that's now. what I'm saying. It must because it's going to punch him in the face. Yeah, he didn't worry. He's taped that. Maybe that's why. Like he's The fingers weren't on the tape to begin with, but he's like, yo, Dude. I got to treat these ladies. <laughs> Please continue. We got to get through this. All right, this is amazing. Always for the oven with the burning heat. What she stood making sure I had something to eat. <laughs> Always for the oven <laughs> where she burned meat. Wow, we're really making sure I had something to eat. <laughs> Tea is for the testicles of my dad when it came inside your pussy and I was had. <laughs> That's not like yeah. this. <laughs> This is like this it's is like, like the, it's like the most stereotypical like yeah yes exactly. get in the kitchen and make me make some bread <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't do it quick I will make you dead <laughs> but treat your mother C is for the child support your daddy don't pay because <laughs> all right uh, continue please skip through spelling mother G is for the time. When I wasn't feeling right Yeah Anxious for the hard-earned money she spent To keep clothes on my back And try to pay the rent So again, I didn't want to say that I was prophetic here Where's the fucking dad at? <laughs> Why is he not paying the rent? <laughs> is he putting the clothes on my back And dad, you fucking asshole You left before I was Dude, how many people did he threaten with physical violence to like make this yeah there was some dude in like an office saying <laughs> like if you don't record yeah, this no, I'll like, punch you in the like, fucking face imagine him like walking in right and saying this this is the vi this is my vision and some like white executive is just sitting there and he's his like his agent is he's like, like, <laughs> he's like don't you love it and that guy's like this I think it's terrific <laughs> we're gonna rent out the Paramount yeah, yeah, House stage like, for this what do you need T <laughs> anything you need all right, let's see what E stands for. I got E is every wrinkle I put on a face and ah. every worry that I caused when I stayed out late. The last set of arms that she taught me respect and for the room up in heaven that I know she'll get. So for the room <laughs> up, up in heaven, heaven <laughs> that I know she'll get. Because I killed her. Right. That's right. <laughs> Treat her right. <laughs> Treat her right. <laughs> She's in heaven oh, now. Treat her right. Now we've gone to the oh, door. So no, wait. <laughs> so now we are we getting heard, into the we're now not. we're getting into the exterior the, shots. Yeah, the Sesame so we're Street. out of the sound stage and the mismatched socks and the fucking weird trio of ladies that have <laughs> literally that probably got bullied in from the street to do All this right, song. So we're at the Sesame Street house. Spot. Right. Oh god. Mother, there is no other. Like mother. So treat her oh, that's right. cool. Let's get fucking mother. So wait, why did the one girl, so now you see this dude is rubbing, which is, this guy's a fucking creep. Why is he wearing <laughs> gloves while he's rubbing his mother? <laughs> dude, this, this dude does not look like, this This looks like the origin story well, they, of a serial they, killer. They, they, and then they're like going through all the racial stereotypes. So first right. they had like the, the Asians. Asian, and the Asian was like, like, oh, you Jewish make, people. Yeah, she put like jelly on the mom's <laughs> face. This guy's like fucking creepily rough. Hey, so the, 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 the white kids is a fucking weirdo. Oh yeah, total yeah, pedophile yeah. and he's only 10. Exactly. I don't know how that works. It's Jeffrey Epstein. So I'll help you with right, those, mom. Right. He's like, oh, oh surprising. Right. Yes. Yeah, how long do you think it took <laughs> for them to get that down? I, I can't even, like, so I saw this on Instagram on Mother's Day and I posted a comment about how I was like, I was like, uh, you know, people will say that music from uh, the current generation sucks. And then I was like, music from our generation. And then that, this, yeah. they pointed to this. Yeah. And somebody, You're move, assholes. So, somebody <laughs> commented. He, he was like, he was like, he's like, man, nobody was like, back then nobody was like, hey, man, what do you want to listen to? Let's put on some Mr. T. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good point. Not touche. <laughs> That's right. It's not like we were seeking that out. Pretty we, sure he had one song. It did not climb the charts. Well, wait. Do we know that for a fact? Oh, we can. We, we'll do some research. We're going to do some research and find out if Mr. T has more than one song. See, Mr. Mr. T, T, T music. 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 Catalog. 
music. <laughs> I didn't mean right now. Oh, he has. So wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> Mr. T, treat your mother right. The tough. Wait, I got to see the fucking track list here. Come on. Hold on. Oh, don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to strangers. The one and only Mr. Mr. T's T's Commandments is the name of the album. The Mystery of the Mind. Try. How did I not know I about this? I am somebody. This? Peer pressure. Because oh, we know he's not going to be happy so with that. They're all educational like songs. No dope, no drugs. Yeah. So Love each he, other. I, that's funny because they say that because he you was- got a, to go through it. He was in a lot of like 80s cartoons. Ooh, he's got one called Poppin' and Breakin'. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to see that. What's no, going on there? So, not right now, but- Yeah. So he was in a lot of 80s cartoons. Yes. I think there was one that- Was there a Mr. <laughs> T cartoon just like on Saturdays? Hold on. Mr. T cartoon, uh, cartoon. Yeah, it was called was the Mr. T Mysteries. It was there Hannah you know. Barbera fucking. So, holy shit, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was on Saturday mornings from 1983 to 1986, 30 episodes. Oh, my God. dude! So he did a lot of like educational kid stuff. So his music was all geared towards that. That's why I said he had uh, I can't don't talk to strangers. I um, am somebody peer pressure styling. Yeah. Be somebody. No drugs. No, no dope. No drugs. Yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. Don't talk to strangers. The yeah. one and only Mr. T. Oh, one that's called Mr. T. Mr. T. <laughs> this one's called Mr. Rubber. Mr. Rubber. <laughs> 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 all right, we're back. Oh God, we gotta we gotta move yeah, on. We from to, Mr. Yeah, T. we may have to do a uh, a live Mr. T. Jeff Hardy's like, thank God for Mr. T. Oh, they yo, spend like thirty, 30 seconds on me. The heat <laughs> off me. Holy shit! They can remember Dude, how funny would it be if Jeff Hardy in his next game he was like, "Mother, there is no <laughs> other." We like mother. All right, we all right, draft. That. All right, we so got now, a draft. Now we can get to the draft. Mm-hmm. Um, we've done a draft in a while. Obviously, mm-hmm. the Stinko de Mayo is going on. Yeah. Um, but we'll get back to, to normal Still counting the votes. There's business. so many votes to count, folks. That's right. Um, endless spreadsheets. It's crazy. That's right. I have a whole team of people working around the clock. In, a whole uh, team of mothers. That's right. Yeah, and they, they, right. Like no other. They're, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're also making me a sandwich while they're tabulating votes. Um, but uh, Kevin had brought up the fact that, like, you know, we do a lot of uh, drafts around things that kind of suck. Mm. And we just passed something that kind of yeah, sucks. Yeah, usually do it around the holidays. Yep. And we just passed the holiday, which would be the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. So we're going to talk about the things that suck about 4th, 4th of July. July. All right. Flip it. All right. Here we go. I'll call it. Th- no, 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 no. You flipped it last time, bitch. Oh, well, then you flip it. All right. All right. You call it. Go. Heads. It is. All right. You want to pick first or you want to pick last? Um, shit. I don't have tons of dog in the fight here. Like, there's not anything that I'm like. There's a lot of things that's oh, yeah. up with July. Um, what do you think? First or last? If you ain't first, you're last. I'll go. Um, I'll let you go first. Okay. Good. Um, so my first pick is an easy one because mm-hmm. I just experienced it. Yep. Now, things change in life. With no way. when you have kids versus not having kids, not about how treating you- your mother right. <laughs> that happens year round. When you get jelly all 24/7. over twenty four seven. Oh yeah, exactly. Or you yeah, help, that'd be funny. The, the thing or you, you help your Marky Post looking mom get the groceries <laughs> out of the fucking car. Yeah, she looks like family. <laughs> she's like gonna defend somebody in night court. Uh, Boy, you- that that requires a lot of explanation <laughs> for anyone under the age of forty. Night court's back. Is- I know, but she's dead. <laughs> all right, oh, poor Marky Post. <laughs> oh, so, now I'm sad. I forgot that Margaret Post was dead. Cue the saxophone. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, Richard Hole's dead too, isn't he? There were, I, I, huh. I enjoyed a lot more about 4th of July than I do now with a child. Okay. Um, so my number one pick is fireworks. Oh, yeah. Fireworks are the worst thing about 4th of July. Now, um, I don't mean the ones that you go... And you take your kid to, mm-hmm. and you sit outside, and you drink a couple beers, and it's a big display, and oh, those are right, fucking those awesome, are great. fantastic. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the your your recreational fireworks. Uh, you <laughs> like mean the recreational drugs right. and your recreational so, <laughs> like? You know what? The, there's, a good, there's actually a really good correlation here. I'm glad mm-hmm. that you said that because this is the difference. So mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. marijuana is regulated. Yes, and you, if you are in New Jersey, you can get it. 
recreationally yes, or in Pennsylvania and sh- sh- soon to be fucking recreationally but now you just get it with a card you can be like I just listened to Mr. T and they're like oh here's your medical card yeah, exactly <laughs> no you brother just, you're like you, you just, understand that too you just smoke a lot you of weed you heard about when he said his, his mom groaned when he came out <laughs> here this is pro bono take it <laughs> um the uh Shit! Now so I tried you, to you, fuck you, me up. We're talking about uh, recreational. Oh, yeah, right, right. So, so, so recreational fireworks. So you mentioned like so recreational fireworks are the I'm buying it from Fifth and Allegheny weed, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know what's in there. It could be anything. Now what? it's regulated. It's got like that's like you the, can buy them anywhere. You buy them in the parking lot of fucking CVS. They're right across the street from the Wawa and Skip Back. Yeah. There was a gigantic tent. Cocaine Wawa. <laughs> I wish it was. It was for that week. It was. Yeah. It's. it's any fucking moron can get fireworks. Right. I remember getting fireworks Wait. when I was like 12 years old mm-hmm. and I, I made honor roll and my dad was like, what do you want? I was like, I want fucking fireworks. And we ordered them out of a catalog and they showed up in a UPS truck, unmarked UPS truck. And then they, they kicked it out like, the door. They like kicked the box into the fucking <laughs> yeah. driveway. So like now any fucking Jamoke can get them. Right. So we, we live in a townhouse community, mm-hmm. right? Luckily we have a field behind us. Yep for like where we live but unluckily we have a bunch of fucking people that want to set off fireworks not on the fourth of july not like just as soon as it gets to like dusk at dark no fucking midnight one o'clock in the morning with a fucking two and a half year old sleeping like 50 yards make, from make where, where the rage for uh, like and then on J- july f- of july 5th i didn't get it to set off all my fireworks i right. didn't set off all my fireworks i posted on <laughs> twitter i said people that set off fireworks on the 5th of july should have mandatory prison sentences yeah 100 <laughs> percent. lay off all your shit on the 4th of july we just drank fuck off we till, just, we till just, labor day we just drank for nine hours <laughs> and you're like oh i know it's let me set some mortars off in the morning when people are hung I over pray everybody fuck wakes you. up like michael strahan the next day <laughs> or not michael Stray, <laughs> or was no, it michael? john p uh, J- uh, jpp yeah uh, uh pierre paul yeah john pierre paul oh uh, dude fuck blow your that. fucking fingers off i f- Fireworks have get the big thumbs down for me these days. I understand that. All right. So you're on for two. Okay. So the first one I think is pretty easy. Mm. The fucking heat. Oh yeah. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I, are we as, the, as you, as you once collo- uh, had colloquial said, colloquially said, said when we were growing up, it's, it's hotter, hotter than, than a sunburnt sun pussy, pussy in a pepper, pepper patch. patch. <laughs> right. And I can't even take credit for that. That was the delivery driver at the bakery that I worked at. He came downstairs and it was, it, it was a fucking, an, you know, middle of July, middle hot July, hot ovens, July, hot ovens like, and it, but and it was in the basement, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Like it was like 200 degrees down there. And this dude, he looked like he came straight out of Dazed and Confused. I swear to God, <laughs> blonde hair, fucking awesome mustache. He like we grew up at the shore, folks. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Everybody it, looked like fucking Spicoli from right. From, from, uh, freaking, uh, from, but he was also from like Tennessee, so he had kind of had like a twang mm-hmm. in his voice. And he came downstairs and he's like, he said, "Ha, to spit on that thing." He sure did. <laughs> That's what How do you think I got my dough? Exactly. Uh, so literally and figuratively. Uh, it's interesting that that girl, like she. Oh, geez, no, don't, oh, let's yeah, not go yeah, there. Right. Sorry, sorry. We, we don't have the time. I'm sorry, you, you right. definitely signed <laughs> me. But anyway, the way the, this, the way that he said it was also funny. He came downstairs and he goes, "Whoop, it's hotter than a sunburnt pussy in a pepper patch." <laughs> and literally, that ended work for the like next 15 minutes because we were all dying. I think some of our dough got fucked up because we left it in the mixer too long. We were all just like <laughs> deaf jamming around the. That's one of the best things ever heard in my life. <laughs> it was the fucking hilarious. It's so great. I'll never say anything funnier than that. No. All right. Um, but so you adopted it as your own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, so I, I mean, murdered I that credit where credit's due. Um, I hit him with a sheet pan. <laughs> so dragged him into the woods. <laughs> Actually, the ocean because it was closer. Um, but uh, it's just heat. ungodly heat, dude. It, like it is every 4th of July for as long as I've ever. And there's never been a pleasant temperatured 4th of July that I can think of in there- recent memory. The, the problem is, is that we live in Pennsylvania, which has the most extreme random temperature I, fluctuations yeah. from, you know, from 60 to 80, you know, from 40 to 100 degrees. Like, yeah. it just goes all over the <coughs> fucking place. Like, but, but the my, last, my air, the last two, three weeks ah. have been the hottest ever. It's been 95 or more for like 10 days straight. Dude. I was in F45 this morning working mm. out and I thought for sure it was so humid in there. It was going to start raining in the gym. I'm like, <laughs> and we were like, all oh, is like, yeah, like yeah. dying, like, right. Losing more caps on this is fucking oh, hot yoga. They, there you go. That, that's a new uh, bean flavor. 
Is that the, the fucking hot, hot fucking gym? Hot gym? <laughs> Ew. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. I want to think about that. Can't take it. All right. Um, that's also what you call your coworker. That's, oh, yeah. What's up, hot gym? <laughs> Look good today. All right, your second pick. Um, the heat is ungodly. It's terrible. This, uh, yeah, around it's 4th of July, it doesn't matter where you are. It's fucking hot. You'd be in fucking Alaska. Uh, it's fucking 80 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to be really specific about yes. this because I I'm balancing between. I yes. agree we should all be patriotic, but aggressive flag clothing. <laughs> like if you are dressed, if you literally have a tank top that blends into your shorts, socks, and and sandals, and it's all red, white, like yeah, like so. No, I, here's what just I, I this that was on my list, but mm-hmm. I'm going to call it something else so you can okay have it. Forced patriotism, I'll call it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> fake patriotism, really. <laughs> Let's call it forced because yeah. it's not fake. You love your country, right? But not it's that much. <laughs> but it's forced because you're like it's amplified yeah, patriotism. It it's like you're like saying, "Hey, aggressive I, patriotism." I'm, I'm usually at a one. It's like you know what? I, this is the again use a correlation that I can relate to, which is hockey for me. Which is Olympic hockey. I think it's dope. It's right. fantastic. Regular season hockey. I could give a flying fuck <laughs> about, right? So during the year, my hockey level is at the level of patriotism for everybody else right. during the rest of the year. I get that. And then when hockey hits, like uh, the Olympics hit, and it's like hockey in the Olympics, uh, you, you, I might as well be right. wearing fucking pads. I'm so excited. Summer league basketball versus regular basketball, right? Yes. So like, so yeah, yeah. your your patriotism grows around Fourth of July, nine eleven. You jump down <laughs> up to fifteen. So yeah, I I a hundred percent on board. It was absolutely on my list. Like I like literally, we were at the skip back parade, mm-hmm. um, and oh, which by the way, spoiler alert, my next pick. I knew that was <laughs> so, but there was so much like aggressive patriotism oh. where it was just like, and, and then it was like. Here comes the Trump trucks and here comes the Biden trucks. Uh, and kudos to all the people there. One, it was hot as fuck, obviously, because we talked about yeah, that already. They were too tired to fight. And, and no, people <laughs> were just like, they just wanted to see like the fun stuff, like the fucking, fucking bands, the kids and the, and the, the bands and the, 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 the blowing bubbles and throwing yeah, yeah, candy yeah, 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 yeah. and all those types of like things. Like the cool cars going and, by. Yeah. And then like yeah. all the like, antique cars and stuff. And like, it's, it, it, like, I thought it was like, oh, people were going to be like yaying or booing. And people were just like, fucking mosey on, dude. Let's get this shit over. It didn't matter if it was Biden, Trump, Kennedy's two, no fu- standing up. Kennedy's two fucking cars it's there. Just, like, just, <laughs> just, just fucking worms going through. Like, no, like this everybody fucking- was just like, get it fucking moving. So my pick, <laughs> my number two pick is fucking parades. parades. Oh. I can't imagine a worse way to spend a day. It, literally, when you said that you were going there, I felt... I've Again, never, this is a child thing. Right, right. If I, I didn't know, have a kid, dude, you wouldn't see me within I, 20. You know how many parades I've been thousand to, yards Thank of a God parade. I got past it. There's like a, oh, a, a now they don't demarcation. Go. They're old enough. They're like, the, fuck parades. Yeah, exactly. They're like, no. There's a so, song called I Love a Parade. I and that guy's dead. I'm, I'm glad. glad. I'm, yeah, I hope someone <laughs> kill him. And someone that watched his parade said, what are you, serious? <laughs> You're fucking putting a song out about this? This is stupid. It's it's the hottest. Like, you're just sitting on blacktop. And, and there's exhaust fumes from fire oh, trucks yeah. in your fucking face. The only it, thing, one redeeming quality about parades, completely acceptable to start drinking at like 10 o'clock that's in the fair. morning. <laughs> totally I acceptable. I do that at home. I don't I know, need to be out exactly. the black top fucking inhaling exhaust. But the other thing too is that they but are- But your family will celebrate if you're drinking at 10 a.m. at a parade. Yeah. They, they'll have a meeting with you if you're drinking at 10 a.m. by yourself. Whatever. <laughs> on a Saturday. You, you don't know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> my so, life is that fucking exhaust in the hot blacktop. So the other thing is they're insanely long. It's only, not like a five minute thing. We have to be outside. It's like, this is going to be hours, four hours. Li- like, literally. Four hours. Like, oh, it's going to be eight till 12. I don't, yeah. I don't care about the marching band that much. I don't want to see. So with the, with the parades and the heat and everything else yep. comes my number three, which is the crowds. Ah, the yes. number of fucking people everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. Mm-hmm. Grocery store, 
blow your fucking brains out. If oh, you yeah. go to the grocery store the day before 4th of July, kill yourself. Yeah. It's the worst place on earth. <laughs> it, if, you if you waited, waited if to you buy needed, burgers or, or worse, <laughs> you forgot one thing you absolutely need. You're like, no, I can't. And then you like, think about it. Does Wawa have this? And the answer is no. no they have they cocaine. Don't have, they, don't have, they have cocaine, but no artichokes. <laughs> So your dip is going to be real fucked oh, up. Yeah. Your dip's going to be, actually, your dip's going to be awesome. It's like, I just put cocaine <laughs> in <into> the artichokes. <laughs> oh, co- <laughs> cocaine spinach dip. Oh, dude, I'm into it. The amount of people everywhere. Uh, it doesn't matter where you go. Fuck The all beach, that. dude, go to the beach all 4th of July. Mm-hmm. It's the fucking worst place on earth. It's hot. It's crowded. Mm-hmm. There, People are fucking wasted. It's a... Remember when you said it's, spoiler it's, alert about your next pick? Yeah. Oh, hmm? uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> that was coming so, up next. Just so, so all you right, know. So let's recap real quick. <laughs> you have fireworks, uh-huh. parades, uh-huh. and crowds. Yes. All terrible. Heast? The mind of yeast? <laughs> yeast? 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 Yeah, yeast is growing because <laughs> my of the yeast heat. infection? Heat, forced patriotism. Uh-huh. And my number three is the shore. Oh, yeah. Going to the shore, the going to the beach. It is the every, lake, whatever you call whatever your. You, but you're go, everyone's going. Your place with water yes. that is hot as fuck. Despite hot as the fuck. fact that we've all seen many of the movies of Jaws in the series, <laughs> we know what happens on 4th of July in Amity. Yeah. A fucking bloodthirsty shark <laughs> chops Quint in half on his boat. Quint. Um, the shore. Like, it's the craziest and most busiest it is at any point in any time. Yeah. It's worse than Memorial Day. It's worse than Labor Day. Yeah. It's worse than anything. Everyone and their brother's down there. It's fucking crowded. If you if you dare to go to a bar, good fucking oh, yeah. luck. Everyone smells bad. It's fucking yeah. No shower, happy drink. hour. Oh uh, no, shower hat. Great. <laughs> it should be required shower, happy hour. Stay the fucking ho- stay the fuck home. Oh mm-hmm. man, you get drunk. Take some girl home. Oh, S- smells like salt and puss. Oh yeah, <laughs> puss. she been surfing all day in a fucking wet. There suit. you go. There's another bean flavor. Hot puss. Hot puss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It might not be that bad. <laughs> it tastes like vinegar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <It's> like... <laughs> Sweat puss. <laughs> Togi Fest. <laughs> Togi Fest. Okay, it wah, sounds wah, like clam, fa- clam Fest. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So the shore. Yeah. So we grew up there. We know how bad it yeah, is. Yeah, it's fucking, it's fucking horrifying. Awful. Yeah. All right. My next one. Yeah. I. I uh, and your last one, too, right? No, no, no. Okay, because you go last. I have, the, right. I have the last last. Yeah. Um, I'm between two. Which one with you? That one. You might take that if I take it. I'm going to do it. All right. Go for it. This kind of ties into some of the crowd stuff. Mm-hmm. Fourth of July sales. <laughs> Because when you do know, need to go get something. Who needs to buy a car? It's melting into the pavement. I know. It's like, it's like, and you're not even getting like that good of a discount. They just put like fire. Ding, 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 ding. We're going to give you the exact wall. same deal <laughs> that we would have gotten you given to you on Monday. And we will give it to you absolutely on Saturday. We got some red, white, and blue wacky uh, waiver guys. Oh, God. It, everyone's a try hard. They're doing the, dudes, oh, yeah. the spinning signs and shit like that. <laughs> So hope they get fucking treated like the Joker in the fucking. He's gonna have a heat stroke from <laughs> yeah. sitting out in the fucking hundred two right. degrees. Someone needs to be spinning the sign in front of him and keeping him alive. All right. Yeah, I don't like for the July no, sales. Dude, that, they ruined. They ruined. Like, it, it, Who it, wants a mattress for two bucks less than what it would normally but it's be? Like one thing, like I get it. Like the, the you mentioned the crowds. Like we talked about going to the food, going to the grocery store. Yeah. Everyone goes to grocery store all the time. Obviously, it's one of those things where when they have Fourth of July sales, people tend to, to, to get their um. Or, sorry, they. For 4th of July specifically, they tend to go there because they need stuff for their barbecue right. or whatever. We understand that. But, like, if I'm in the fucking Verizon store, like, to, because my wife dropped her phone again onto the pavement. <laughs> dude, uh, uh, just a... <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Just a small off-ramp. Just okay. a small one. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you back. Yeah, it'd take me two seconds. So... Colleen's phone was like shot for like right. a while. She couldn't, and actually, she was like letting it ride for a while because the problem with the phone was you couldn't, she can't, couldn't make phone calls. Oh yeah, then, she could talk, but right. she couldn't hear people. Oh, the other way perfect for her. She was like, I'm, "This is my, <laughs> this is my dream phone." phone. Are you yeah. I'm never getting rid of this thing. So I, like it, on her voicemail, she says, "I don't listen to phone calls. I don't take phone calls. Just text me. <laughs> it's call her." Um, so. She, but this was like getting to the point where she's like, I got to talk to my mom right. and blah, blah, blah. She said, you got to go get me a new phone. Not like I'm going to go get one. You need to go get me <laughs> a new phone. Yes, dear. So off I go. 
And I'm like, I'm, hey, give me your phone because I need to be able to trade it in. She's like, here you go. And it's got a case on. And I'm like, oh, you need to take the case off. I take the case off. And when I tell you, like, do you remember the, like those uh, dramatic mo- moments in movies where like a hero takes his shirt off and there's scars all over oh, it? Yeah. That was the back of her phone. <laughs> it had chunks. When I'm telling you, it's downstairs. I'll put a picture of it. It has chunks. It's like Kunta Kinte in Oh, yeah, dude. A hundred percent. Dude, I was like, Jesus Christ. I'm like, how is this thing even fun? No wonder you can't hear people. I'm surprised it even turns on. It is. It literally looks like it got shot. <laughs> it's fucking wild. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, anyway, so 4th of July sales, they fucking suck. That's it. All right, End of so story. my last two, right? Let's mm-hmm. recap real quick. Fireworks. Yes. Parades, crowds. Yep. I have heat, forced patriotism, the shore, and 4th of July sales. Okay. So I'm on for my last two. Right. So my next pick is just being forced to do anything right. like be like re- required recreation. It's like, like the expectation is required. Expectation we have to go to this. We have yeah. to go to that. We have to go do uh-huh. this. Dude, I just want to sit in the fucking air conditioning. Watch baseball. Or, yeah. Watch There's so baseball. much baseball on. There's so much. I'll watch Joey Chestnut fucking Deep dick a fucking hot dog on the air conditioning. Sure I'm you will. Totally fucking, <laughs> totally fucking happy doing that. Why do we have to go to your uncle's sister's fucking barbecue right. in the middle of nowhere and, and it's 102 yeah, degrees? Why do I have to wear khakis? Why, this is why am I going there? I don't want to go there. I don't want to wear a collared shirt. Fuck like, off. Are we going to a bar? Are we, do they have air conditioning? No, I have to go stand outside under a tent mm-hmm. and it's 150 degrees. No. And like eat a fucking poorly cooked fucking hamburger no. from somebody I don't know or don't care about. No Stop thanks. making me go places no, thank on, on, on 4th of July. I don't want to go to this place or that place or, or you're just going to people's shitty barbecues. Yes. I don't want to yes. go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you're yes. Yes. A hundred percent. I don't yeah, want to go to no, shitty barbecue. Like, you know what? If, if I am choosing. Then I'll may have it at my house. Right. I, like, and then I can make me. the food because I know it'll be good. Right. And then I can be inside whenever I want to be inside. I can just walk in and sit down. And when I'm done, party's over. over. Yeah. <laughs> no one's saying, oh, no, no, we have four more things that we have nope. to do. Like, wait, I, there should have been one thing that I had to do, and including coming here. <laughs> yeah, no. This is bullshit. We're leaving. And by we're leaving, you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, why are you pushing us with a broom? You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I can't even begin to tell you how many times being forced to go somewhere, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to go to that. You're an adult. You should be able to say no. I don't. There, there's I'm not no doing it. pool. There's no sports on TV. The the food sucks. Like, stop making me uh, go to these events. I don't want to go. Right. It's one of the worst things about Fourth of July. Hundred percent. Is going to the, those types of things. Yes. Oh, Your man. last one. You got one more. I'm between a couple here. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. You got it this. Kinda, it kind of goes into... It kind of goes into the forced, uh, forced patriotism thing, but mm-hmm. I think it's worth separating it out. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Is just the I'm not. I don't know how to put it. It's like you're a British like, apologist. Uh, try, trying to. <laughs> Trying to like, I don't know, trying to, I don't know how to say it, trying to be happy, like, like, like act like it's a big Everything's deal. Okay. Like, oh, oh, so you're talking about like the magnitude of, of the holiday, of the holiday itself. Yeah. It's just like, like I gotta I, like, I, I don't, I don't, I, f- I feel like it's like, I think that's a, like a recency. Like, so it's, I, it's I feel the like it shouldn't be as big of a deal as right. it is. Well, because it's, it's been so far. It's like, dude, we did, we fucking, we got rid of the fucking British 
so long ago. Why are we still talking about this? Right. Like, it's, it's a big deal. We did it. It was like, a long time ago. It's like, like oh, when the, the fucking, remember the Cubs were like, it was like 100 years since they won a World Series? <laughs> and, the, and the Red Sox? You're like, hey, dude, you remember that time we won the World Series? Like, dude, that was like a, a, an entire generation or two ago. Why am I, why do I care about that? It's just, it's so, it feel like, I, it feels like I shouldn't be forced to have as like people want you to have big feelings about it. Right. Like, uh, yes, America is amazing, but like the 4th of July holiday, like, like mm-hmm. that's like everybody acts like it's the fucking super bowl of, of yeah. American patriotism. And it's it's, it's not. like, I, I feel like I'm being, I feel like I'm being like, I don't, I don't, f- I don't feel as aggressively like amped up about it. Right. Like I'm not like, Fucking yes, it's Fourth of July. You know right. what I mean? Like, it's right. not doesn't carry the same way. It's not fucking Christmas. You know what I mean? Yeah. But people act like it's like, duh, duh, fucking great. They, we saw this woman in the fucking parade that was like, mm-hmm. like she was just going Happy Fourth of July to every fire truck and cop car that went by. You know, like, it was I guess like, if I guess if you were like, all right, so let's take a perspective right. <clears throat> on the other side, which is, I guess if I was from a place where I did not have all of those freedom, the freedoms of America. Like if I came from third world country right. or dictatorship, okay. yeah, I'd probably be pretty pumped right now because I'm coming to a place where all like that freedom exists and that freedom exists only because of the 4th of July. It's yeah. worthy. I'll say this. I agree with you. It's worthy of celebration. The pomp and circumstance. And, uh, and I'll say the only thing that I really love about it is it's still kind of rubbing it in the face of the British. Like, <laughs> Hey, fuck you, pussies! We beat. Remember that time we beat you forever? Like the, like the guy when they did the Philly series over yeah. in uh, over in England. Yes, and uh, the guy wore the t shirt that said uh, "England blew a thirteen colony lead" yes. or something like something along Fantastic. those. Fantastic! And by the way, if you just go online and look for like those kinds of shirts, there's a billion of them. <laughs> they talk all kinds of shit on the British. Yeah, it's like, but it's again because we know, like you know, knock on wood. The British aren't like coming over to invade us and no. say like, "Hey, we want our shit back." No, no, it's our shit now. It's yes. been for several hundred years, so <laughs> go fuck yourselves. And we don't need to make that big of a deal of it. I don't. I don't, I don't, and I don't mean it. Don't in the, I, I don't mean it in the way of the exhausting. Why are you celebrating America? Just calling nah, us. Fuck all about that. It. No, I don't mean no, it. No, that this way. is just more like I mean it in the way of like it. It it, it seems like overzealous to the point of exhausting right where i i feel like i should have like i should be like yeah fucking america right yo the fucking fourth of july the best thing ever and it's just like no like i i'm kind of over all of the things that go with it like we that we just talked about You're right like, I, let's put it this way if you just if you are so excited about the fourth of july that you wear a powdered wig <laughs> I hope you get stabbed by a bayonet. <laughs> all right, That's how on, I feel about it. Right, last my last pick. All right. Fuck. Because you kind of like the expectation of recreation kind of covered what I wanted, which is expectation unwanted. Expectation of recreation. Which yeah. is uh, like unwanted invitations. Like, you know, like that's the same thing. It's like, yeah. you know, like I'm expected to go somewhere. So I have to think of something else that I hate about the 4th of July, which there's plenty. I'm sure like, oh, you know what? I, I want to dive a little bit deeper mm-hmm. in because you can't really put a blanket over the whole thing. Um, bad barbecue food at someone's house. Like, oh, yeah. Bad food. Bad food like, should be way up. I talked about it before, but about being yeah, forced to go to barbecues. It's like, it's like when you think you like your coverall. Of, bad food. Dude. It's the worst potato salad you ever had in your life. And shrimp salad. Unless you go to that place in Oh, Hogwood. God. No, remember that it was a callback to this. Oh, salad. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you're right, though. It is bad potato salad usually at those places. Or, right, or they... I, like I understand, like when you're making hamburgers at, at a um, at a cookout, you have to be very careful because you don't want to like make them too raw, right? right? But you also you don't also have to make Hockey them like pucks. yeah, they don't have to you know. <laughs> I I like, chip a tooth when I try to bite into your <laughs> fucking hamburger, um, and, or like un, like unseasoned, overcooked, like and, oh look at this like weird ambrosia salad. Yeah. I'm not eating that. I don't know what's in there. Yeah, burgers and dogs. You know, like good. They're fine. Great. No. You know what I mean? Like the food is, uh, I mean, it depends on who's, it, like it all depends on who's making it. You know what right. I mean? Like if you're doing it, if you did like, like, if I go to a barbecue and it's just like burgers, dogs, corn on the cob, potato salad, 
watermelon pedestrian you know and it's just like when people right, like fucking right, brisket man. and like ribs i'm oh, like oh yeah right. wings oh, fucking yeah. you know like that that type of shit like they go all out fucking bacon wrapped shrimps yeah, and good beer and shit oh, like that yeah, oh, like, oh, my oh God, yeah forget dude, it well, i'm fucking in yes but most places don't do that they yeah. have the most caucasian of <laughs> Let's call, a mayonnaise sandwich. Let's, let's call it not spade and not spade. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, folks. No, no, magic mind. Uh, I, I get, uh, how do I tie this into magic mind? Um, uh, it's, it's, it's good. Makes you make good burgers? Ah, magic mind. <laughs> helps you cook burgers to the right temperature. And with that, we'll see you next time. Don't break that shit.